we respect the independence of the judiciary. But that independence does not extend to sabotage the public interest. It doesn't in, uh, extend to sabotaging and denying Kenyans their constitutional right under Article 43 that guarantees them social and economic rights. Any institution that undermines the delivery of constitutional rights, social and economic, to the people of Kenya is undermining the constitution and to all that extent, I want to say we are going to make sure that all of us respect the sovereignty of the people of Kenya. And when I say, and I will repeat, that we must deal firmly, decisively, with corruption in the judiciary, I mean it. And we are going to deal firmly and decisively to root out corruption in the judiciary. Nobody should tell us that the independence of the judiciary will be used to deny the people of Kenya their rights. Nobody should tell us the independence of the judiciary also means that the judiciary is holy or sacrosanct. It is still subject to the people of Kenya. Si hiko kwenye katiba ya Kenya? Kwamba tuendele na ikazi? Si tulienda kwenye uchaguzi? Si mukapika kura manifesto nye hiko na ikazi? Si mimi nilienda bunge? Si bunge ikapitisha sheria ya kufanya ikazi? Ikazi itasimama ama itaendelea? Ikazi itasimama ama itaendelea? Mimi nataka ni wambia wala wako kotini. Na watu sikie mapema. Wale watu wameenda kotini, mimi nataka ni kusungumuze na wao. Nyinyi ambao muko kotini muko na kazi. Watoto wenu wako na kazi. Nyinyi hamujawai kulala njaa. Nyinyi hamujapiga lami mpaka kiatu ikakatika kwa sababu unatafuta kazi. Alafu unaenda kotini, unanunua wakili. Una, unapeleka kotini, unaongana. Ati hii kazi isimame hawa watoto wa Kenya wengine wakae bila ajira. Mimi nataka ni waambie hawa watu wako na mungu na wako na mimi. Tutapambana na nyinyi. Bwana Ruto, ataenda kuongea ya mambo hile. Tuko na maneno ingine. Sikizeni. Zikizeni, unajua saa hii tunaelea kuongea hapa, tunaharibu kazi ya watu wengine. Kuna watu hapa wanataka kufanya kazi. Wanataka tutuondoke hapa mapema. Wanempatia notisi hapa kwamba saa yangu imeisha hapa nituke. Muna nizikia? Kwa sababu wanataka mshara yao ya leo, lazima ilipwe. Sinamra hiyo? Tuko pamoja? Mimi nataka ni kubaliane na mjumbe wenu kwamba hiyo eh, shule yetu ya kidiwa hapa. Tutajenga madarasa kumi na ine. Tutaweka pale hall, tutaweka pale lab, tutahakikisha kwamba kuna mambo ambaye yanatoshana na hiyo shule. Na baadae tutajenga yale mashule mengine yako karibu hapa. Kuna mungine alikuwa ananiambia, ati hapa kamukunji hiko na shida kubwa sana. Ati watu wanapigwa ngeta. Wakaniambia ati tuongeze police station. Mime nikawambia badala ya kuongeza police station, wacha tulete affordable housing. Sinikweli? Si wale watu wa kupigana ngeta watakuja kufanya kazi hapa? Si kazi ya ngeta itaisha? So hiyo ndiyo kumaliza ngeta ni kuendesha na fasi ya ajira kwa vijana sio kupanua mambo ya police station. Sisi tunaelewana? Na nimesikia nimeambia hawa waheshimiwa. Sasa watu watoke mashambani. Kule mashambani tunataka kutumia kuzalisha chakula. Ile kukatakata mashamba huko mashambani isimame. Watu wakuja waishi mjini, tutumie ile shamba huko shambani, tuzalishe chakula, ndio tuondoe aibu ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tumelewana? Na vile kotimeja wamesema, mambo ya city status ya Eldoret, iko katika meza yangu. Bunge wamemaliza kasi yao, mimi nitamalizana na ayo, wiki hii ama wiki jayo, alafu sasa tatangaza rasmi siku gani Eldoret itakuwa city, kama zile city zingine. Tuko pamoja? Mimi nitarudi kujenga mambo kuanzisha mambo ya hospitali kubwa ambayo tunajenga hapa na mambo yale mengine tutakuja tupange kwa sababu maendeleo ya Kenya lazima iendelee kwa kasi na mimi nataka tukubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba tutakuwa pamoja. Watu wa Eldoret tumekubaliana? Kidiwa tumekubaliana? 
Watu wa Soi tumekubaliana. Asanteni sana Mungu wabariki na wapenda sana na tuko pamoja. Thank you very much. God bless you.